Hi guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. We're going to do some more Would I Lie to You. This one is, was Bob Mortimer frightening locals in order to leave town? This isn't the, the usual ones where, you know, they have a guy and we've got to decide which one's telling the truth. I think this is just Bob, Bob telling a story and we have to decide whether Bob's telling the truth. And that's not as easy as it sounds. Bob's had uh, had a lot of experiences, done a lot of things. It's hard to pin him down. Even the panel, when even when they know what he's saying is ridiculous, they they're still not sure. And I don't blame him because Bob's hard guy to figure out. So we're gonna go on with this. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications, and share the video around. So let's get on. This is Bob Mortimer on what I lied to you. Let's watch. The police once ordered me to leave town, unspecified, because I was frightening the locals. <laughs> <laughs> David's team, what do you think? Could you give us some context, Bob? Um, shall I'll give you the name of the town. It was Castle Douglas. Ah. Where is that? It's southwest Scotland. And why were you in Castle Douglas? Um, was it a tour or something? No, it was a long time ago. I was only... Um, 17, 18, mm. that kind of age, and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a numerical age, that kind. <laughs> yeah. Ra rather than iron or bronze. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a different kind of age. <laughs> um, I was trying... I was with two friends trying to get as close to the Gulf Stream as I possibly could. What? What do you mean you wanted to get close to the Gulf Stream? It seems such an I mean... appealing, far-off... Miraculous thing, this you, you know, hot you... stream of water so near us that it was hard to believe in it just from the textbooks. But it's not like a spa. It's, no, it's it a massive flow within the ocean. Yeah, but you, could, you can't see it. Well, if you're at the Logan Botanical Gardens... Well, they there's grow... a lovely view of the no. Gulf Stream. <laughs> no, no, but you can see the effects of the Gulf Stream. You know, it's like a tropical gardens, and so you, in that way you sense the influence of the Gulf Stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's a well, I, know, look, I know all teenagers are absolutely mad on the Gulf Stream. <laughs> they can't get enough of it and it's And flowers. But, um, the, but that was one reason amongst uh, many. But the p police of Castle Douglas don't mind the teenagers who all flock there <laughs> to admire the effect of the Gulf Stream. So what was it that you did that, that put their noses out of joint? We scared the locals, apparently, yeah. because we were wearing very grotesque masks. Why were you wearing masks? <laughs> Uh, if you're going to a uh, gardens, why would you wear a mask? Ah, well, here's the thing. That's a, <laughs> that is, that's a perfect question. Right. The, um... have a, just before you answer it, have a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were, we were travelling in a Morris Minor, and we were sleeping in the car, there was three of us. That's me, me met Harry Harriman and Steve... <laughs> Steve, 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 <laughs> 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 Steve, by the way. Steve, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Have you missed Steve, by the way? Steve, by the way. Steve, by the way. Steve, by the way, as in incidentally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we had these... You're wearing these masks. Oh, we're wearing these grotesque... Why are we wearing these masks? We're wearing these masks because we, were, we didn't have anywhere to sleep and we were sleeping in the car. Right. They'd been given us by Harry Harriman's mum, yeah? To keep us warm at night, because... <laughs> latex, grotesque latex masks. Yes. They were just old men's masks, but they were to keep us warm. Harry Harriman's mum had a... Had a she she, she sold, sold these stuff from home, and she sold another thing, which was called a jobble top, yeah? Which was a bobble hat that went it made it into a jumper. And the big bobble was at the back, and it buttoned down the front. And that it, was... I'm telling you now, right, if this is a lie, yeah. and they end up saying lie, I will say to you, why did you make it more difficult for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned the juggle top, or whatever it was called. Because I'm imagining my sleeping arrangements and think, yes, we had the latex masks on yeah. and these giant, like, what they're called, jobble tops. Right, okay, like, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, Snoot. if you're wearing a sleeping mask and you're scaring the locals, like, no, normally the locals would be in bed when you're going to sleep no, and it's no. dark and you're in your car and you've got a scary mask on it, you know. No, we were just... A... On our drive, daytime drive from Dundee to Castle Douglas... With masks as on. We, as we went past Keep people, your faces warm. we were staring at them 
with our scary masks. Why did you not remove... Because I would say, from my experience of sleeping all night in a classic car in a latex mask and a jobble top, that you get quite clammy. <laughs> <laughs> so in many ways, it's quite a relief to take the latex mask yeah. off for the next day's drive. Yes, and Dave, not, we... not to mention how it helps being able to see where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, we take the mask off in the morning, but then round about midday, you wanted to put it back on. Yeah. At what point did the police get involved? That's, isn't, didn't the police get we involved? We parked yeah. up in, in um, Castle Douglas, right next to the shop, cos we wanted to get one of the famous Scotch pies. <laughs> As we came out of the shop, I was grabbed by a policeman, and it was a sergeant, by the way. Sergeant, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you got away with it, cos you said, don't worry, that's me, Dad. Maybe it was. I'm a sergeant, by the way. I think, Daddy! <laughs> 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 so the sergeant, by the way, by the way, yeah. he took me to the police station, and they so he arrested you. Yes, taken and put in a room, and then the, uh, the sergeant and a, and a plainclothes detective came in. Plainclothes plain detective. Oh yeah. Uh, what is you doing? C I D of now, people. And then they said, "You're going to have to wait here. We've sent for a specialist from Edinburgh." <laughs> <laughs> and, and then. As we sat there, it came in and said, right, what's with the funny faces? They said, what's with the funny faces? <laughs> so what did you say? Well, we explained what had happened, that we had these funny faces, that we slept in them, and that we're terribly sorry to have caused any offence. So presumably then they, they released you? Sergeant, by the way, <laughs> followed us till we were out of the city limits. So that's my story. It's quite a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I know what I think. What do you think? Alright, see, like, with Bob, you don't know. I'm gonna say yeah, because this sounds totally like him, so I'm gonna say yeah, this is true. Yeah. I think, I, th I think it's true. You think it's true? Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not what I think. <laughs> uh, Kian, what do you think? I'm gonna go untrue. Okay, right? Kian's going untrue. Our deal's going true. Oh, David? My initial reaction is that it's a lie. Let's say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie? Yeah. <clears throat> Bob Mortimer. <laughs> yes. Was that story true? Or was it a lie? It was true. True. Yes, it was true. The police did order Bob to leave town because he was frightening the locals. Oh. So it was true. With Bob, it usually is, and even if it's not, it's usually safer to say it's true, even if it's totally ridiculous. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little clip. Um, you're going to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and share the video around. And, you know, have a nice day. We'll see you later.